We are back for the second innings. 1-3-7 to win. Rahan Mead opening the bowling to Yusuf. Great first ball. Good wheel. Good set of wheels. I've not seen him ball before. Good ball that was. One of the spectators told us the bowler's name is Asad. Sorry, the bowler's name is actually Asad. I apologise. Adnan has bought in a ringer to win this very must-win game just to knock out strikers. And I tell you what, he's had a good start, hasn't he? Very good start. I'm very impressed with his bowling. Bowling into the body of Yusuf. He's making it tough. Ooh, great bowling. Great length, that is. You can't, you can't hit that for six. Yusuf just losing his shape right now. Just wants to kind of compose himself. He's going a bit too... I understand that they're chasing a high total, but just need to calm down a little bit. And it's a no ball given by the umpire. Free hit. Yusuf is not changing the way he's going to play. He's edged that as well, just to mention that. He's edged that, and if he has caught it. It's a no ball, though. Very unfortunate. How costly do you think this is going to be for them? Yusuf is um, player, especially We'll have to see. I think uh, Yusuf's just. He's yes, just back. going for everything at the moment. Good bowling though by Bash Asad. throwing his body behind the line. Great athletic is Abash. <laughs> and it's in the air, and it's in the roof. Oh, is that? Not out. Oh, you got A six. That is six. It's too full there. Pitched it up. Yeah, too full there. Punished him. Yusuf's not missing out on them. It was me. It wasn't him. Don't take that away from me, man. You're the team made a 6 and I made 50 on my own. Can you describe your first shot? Yeah, I scooped it for six. Yeah, Hansworth, yeah. I'm not sure who the bowler is. And again, he's another newcomer. I've not seen him before. No, it was Hansworth. No, it was Hansworth. Go play the tennis. Bowler. What's his name? Raza. The bowler's name is Raza. He's a bear's cousin. He's in the air. That should be out. And he's caught that. Oh my god. The second leading run scorer. How? For Big wicket that is. They play very attackive or uh, sitter. I think, you I know think what did it? I think it was an unusual action by Reza. <sighs> I think, on. yes, you've got to give the ball a bit of time. Yeah. They just need to mirror third box innings. They didn't have the fastest of starts. Good balling. Good balling. Even Hamza is impressed there. What do you make of this action? <laughs> so Hamza, he's bowling short and the batsmen are finding it hard to hit him. <laughs> that that deserved to be a hit. That it was short and slow. Afros is not going to miss out on that. He's pulling a bit too short, a bit too predictable right now. It's in the air! Oh no. We needed Muneeb there. There's only one guy that can catch that, that's Muneeb. In comes Assad for his second over to Yusuf. That'll be wide ball. The ball in a lot of short balls or uh, Firth Park. I'm not sure if that was a tactic. And that is massive. Huge six by Yusuf, straight over the baller. Oh, 
Oh, that's another six. The ballers, the batsman, I think he's picked up the pace of the ballers. He's not as quick. And he's just rocking back and hitting that over his head for six. It's unlucky that's hit the wall. It's disappointed his Yusuf. He's on the front four. He's not going to change the way he plays. And that's another six. And that's him retired. It's great innings that by Yusuf. Struggled earlier on, but he's worked out the baller. He's worked out the baller and he's absolutely dispatched him. And in comes your garage. See how he's going to play. Is he going to carry on from what Yusuf was doing, or is he just going to steady himself? Until let's come back after bringing a medal. Yeah. Well, Short ball out. again. Uh, Yusuf retired. Short ball again. It's not quick enough, and it's just sat up right nicely for him. Struck back, and he's hit it for six. <coughs> I think Adnan's coming on to ball himself. No, he's not. It is Raza, who's the bear's cousin. A throws on strike. The score is ooh, 44 for one. 44 for one after three overs, so. City are getting a move on and it's hit his foot. So it's not going to be a wide. But the power place looks calm. That last over was very costly. <sighs> First part, they look very de dejected in the field. There's no enthusiasm. Skippers are looking a bit down and out. Good ball in that by Raza. Wide ball. They just need to kind of believe in themselves a little bit more. It's hard to believe in yourself when a throws is playing shots like that. Again, it's sort of full ball, pitched up. It's in the air though, this is to be taken. Does it look confident? Oh! I called it. He, I, I said it. When I saw him, when I saw him going for the ball, I, I could tell he didn't look that confident. And I was just about to say, if they get a couple of wickets here, the game could change. But it's not a great effort by the bowler. Whoever wins that. Yeah. It's been quite a few drop catches today. That's the third drop catch that we have had, I think, I believe, today. It's very hard to pick the ball, you know, especially when it goes under the lights. It's tough. There's a rumour going around saying that Piss Moham now qualified. I'm not too sure how true that is, but Shweb is very, very happy. Maybe if you guys must get into your headphones, possibly. Bash is balling. Oh, he's bamboozled the batsman there. What do you make of Bash's action? Completely legal. I don't see anything wrong with his action. I mean, I'm not sure what people. Some people do question the angle of release. No, I think it's fine. It's over his head. It's round arm. They sent him to Lahore for the testing, and and yeah, the machine said undetectable. Unfortunately, I think it's worked for him. Like the action looks completely legal to me. I tell you what, though, he gets some spin, doesn't he? He gets some spin. I think it's natural to him, isn't it? He does. He loves spinning. That kind of action has to be natural. Ooh, good shot that by Froze. We're going to hand the mic to our 
man on the field, Jawad Aksa. Let's get his thoughts. G. This is an excellent over from Bash. This is going to bring it right back to Fair Park. This is a must win game for City strikers. Bash against Azad. A bit short. And he's got away with it there. Oh, oh, he's got a one. Can I have the scorecard, please? So, Fair Park are defending 136. City strikers are on par 57 for one after five. They require 80 more runs in seven overs, but they have got the big wicket of Mansoor. So it was a steady start. Annan has done it with the bat. Now he thinks he can do it with the ball. Number 23. Six runs. That's one less than what Man United conceded last night against Liverpool. What a ball. They're running. They're scrambling. Oh, and he was gone if he had hit. No, I'm finishing, please. Guess me, please, man. I'm thirsty. Guess me, please, man. So City Strikers on 69 and Afzal has Afroz has retired. My bad, Afroz has retired. A beautiful innings by Afroz. Oh, big, big. Not gone. Where am I going to go? Am I going to get home? Oh, there's a run out chance. So we are here and welcome with the captain of Pittsmoor. Are the rumours true? Have you qualified? Um, I've not seen the table yet, so I can't comment on that. I'm sure Netheredge, I'm sure Netheredge Knights have done um, Pittsmoor a massive, massive favour courtesy of Sahil today absolutely smashing the balls 6-6-6 six, six, six. a magnificent 16 of 15 balls 16 of 15 <laughs> and this is why I work where I work where did you come from, your cousin? Your cousin? Yeah. Where back in Pakistan? Oh, he's bowled him! He's bowled him! Is he actually your cousin? Yeah, first cousin. My dad's a big cousin. Serious? He's your uncle. So you're Chacha then, isn't he? Yeah, right? I'm Chacha. Oh, I thought you said he's your dad's cousin. Oh, alright, alright. He's your dad's cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's my first cousin. Where's your dad's cousin? What a ball! The score is 79. Rumour has it he's come Pakistan just for this game. <laughs> Flown straight in, straight from Manchester Airport. <laughs> he's, he's on five pound a wicket. That's five to his name. Shadab against. Oh, how's that? He's gone. He's gone. He's on Adric. Raza, Raza, Raza. The crowd's going wild. Runs in the family, innit? Eh? Umpire. Good decision there by the umpire. Patrick Ball. Income Yusuf. Is he going to defend it or is he going to send him? I'm not seeing that chip. All right. Patrick Ball. Here he comes in. Is that the air? That is a trick ball! Oh my god! That's a hat trick! He's on it! He's on it! Oh, Razakali! Oh, Razakali!
Nase gelegt. First ever Hattrick. First ever Hattrick. Straight from PIA Airlines, straight on Hillsborough Leisure Centre. He's missed the PSL for this. Four wickets, that's more than Cousin Schwib and Zabair all season put together. <laughs> He's a match winner, can he get four? Can he get four? Robert, you can get four in a row. Ooh. Bit of a stare there by the baller. I'm liking this. You would have had five drop a Mind your language. You see the drop or not? It's there. He's flicked that. There's another chance here. Adnan, Adnan. Five years later, he throws the ball. Adnan's sleeping. Could that be the game defining? Where are the mentors? Haram. Please. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like you. Nasty. Nasty. Can <laughs> someone verify if mentors are haram? Sheikh Hamzi Yunus has just had one. That's surely got to be the best bonus figures in the four for nineteen. Who's got five for? You got five for it. It's hard to believe that this guy and Zabel are cousins. I think he must be a different area in Pakistan. Zabel, I don't believe he's your cousin. He's too. Too good to be anyone's cousin. No, he's just uh, he's, he's too uh, different to be your cousin. Zabar is a bit on the darker side. Kind of racism there. Zabar is from an area in Pakistan where the sun hits a bit more, I believe. Scientifically, you are correct. Scientifically, yes. Sir, you are correct. Scientifically, you are speaking. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sharp. That is a drop catch. He's not the best fielder. He's not. <laughs> but his bowling makes up for it. That's true. He's had a bit of a shocker in the field because he hasn't. He has. Ooh, what's the score? I've not even had a look at the score. It's 82 for four. Three balls left. The eighth over. And that's six. That's six. You know what? As long as Yogi's at the crease, there's always hope for City to win. Four overs left after this over. It's going to be a tight game. I'm here with the captain of uh, Netherlands Knights. He didn't do an interview, but I've got him now. He's been busy. How are you feeling, Skipper? I recruited a star man for today, so let's see. And <clears throat> First two balls are amazing. That's all I'm going to leave out. The question is, will he get selected next week? Abdullah, what do you think? Surely you cannot change a winning combo. Especially when Netherage have barely, barely just, won. Just to, just to say something to Abdullah there. If you actually follow the competition, he'll know that we won five in five. So the winning combo is f actually other sides as well. Yeah, but I'm saying that's that's um, the only regulars that are there: Shabazz, myself, and Jawad. So I believe Wakar's gonna have a flat tire next week, so he won't be able to make it. Um, just to let you know that skipper. So here, can I ask you a question, please? Can you really drop a man who got two in two wickets? I don't think you can. It's impossible. It does not make sense. Um, it's up to chairman of the team, which is uh, Uncle P, and. Um, Uncle P, this is uh, Sahil from John Kababa. I know you very well. You know, we'll saw some. We are back after technical difficulty. That's oh, copper six. Shadab. How are you feeling, Shadab? After Adnan's drop catch. That's a wide ball. 34 of 21. 30, 34 of 21, isn't it? 33 now. 33. 33, two and a half, 21 balls. This game suddenly gone, come to life. Shadab says that drop, drop catch damaged him. And damaged the team. Ooh, great balling that is. <coughs> Shadab's not happy with himself in the field today. Normally very, very good in the field. But... In that position, there's only one person that can feel there, and that's Manib Katana. Which position is this? I almost dropped one there. He did, yes, off my, ball, my own bowling. I, I didn't even look. It. I just turned around because when I saw it was Manib, I just thought he was going to catch it. 
What's the situation, Abdullah? They need 32 and 3.2 overs. <laughs> no, no, this, this is the most Abdullah we've ever seen. 32 in. That update is 32 in 3 overs, because I believe it's over now. This is the most I've ever seen. <laughs> Little comment from Muneeb. I don't play indoor cricket, I play outdoor cricket. The real <laughs> cricket. Whoa! Sorry. I thought, I thought I played in the poor division, which is Div 4. <laughs> you play in Div 8. No words mentioned. Can we stop uh, this? Uh... No, no, no. I'll put my two points in as well. If you can check the stats, 277 career wickets, and only 17 of them were in the low division, I'll be honest with you. Only 17 of them. The other. We have no chance, God is caught! This game is slipping away from City Strikers. Oh my God. It's slipping away, a froze, last man in. Who are you backing, Jawad? Who's winning from here? Nedrej Knights. Yeah. Hamza, who's winning from here? Uh, Pitsmore. Pitsmore is winning from here. Shabi, who's winning from here? Um, Firth Park. Firth Park. City strikers will win. Muneeb calls City brave, strikers. Brave call from Muneeb. <laughs> yes. Uh, I still must win. It depends on where you finish on the table. We should have let Burn Green win. And he's gone! Oh Cross Park Warriors! They've done it. Have done it. They've won a game. And now City Strikers. City Strikers will rely on other results, I believe. Oh yeah. It's gonna be down to net run rate. It's gonna be down to net run rate. Um Bengreve have to lose. Bengreve have managed have managed to qualify. Page all or Pismore will have to lose badly where the net run rate goes minus three, which is why you know. Where's goes Wiles? This found the news out. Uh, he's ecstatic. We did one job that we did right to one. Gotta say, it was poor batting from City Strikers. They were just playing too much shots at the when they didn't need to. And they've only got themselves to blame, Muneeb. Sorted. Muneeb, what do you think about City Strikers batting? Poor. Absolute shambles. Well, we've got one more game left. We've got. Pittsmore against Page Hall Panthers. They'll be playing each of the next.